Oh, Willie stands in his stable door and he's coming his cob like steed and he's doubting of fair Margaret's love which made his heart to grieve. Give corn unto me, horse, dear mother, me to my brother John, for I'm away to fair Margaret's bath before the night comes on. Oh, stay it on with me, dear Willie, stay it on with me. And the finest cock in all our roosts, your supper it will be. Oh, all your cocks in all your roosts, I value not at all. Oh, I'm away to fair Margaret's bar, and I won't be back till morn. Oh, stay it on with me, my darling son, stay here with me. For if you leave this house this night, my curse will follow thee. Oh, if you go to fair Margaret's bar so sore against my will, then the deepest pool in Clyde water, my curse will keep you still. Oh, he rode o'er the high, high hill, he rode down Dewey Den, and the noise that was in Clyde water would have fright five hundred men. Oh, clatter and Clyde, you roar so loud, your streams are wondrous strong. Make me a wreck when I come back, but spare me as I'm going. Now he's reached to his darling's door, he's rung low at the pin. Oh, speed you, speed you, darling dear, rise up and let me in. Rise up and open the door, my darling, rise and let me in. For me boots are filled with clyde water, and I'm shivering to the skin. He thought it was his darling dear, rose up to let him in. He thought it was his darling dear, but it was no such thing. It was the voice of Margaret's mother, she sounded just the same. Saying the bars are filled with gentlemen, and they'll not be gone till morn. Oh, curse be on you, false darling, my curse it be on thee. I got my mother's malice on for coming here to thee. Now he's rode o'er the high, high hill, he's rode down yonder glen. But the roaring that was Clyde Water took Willis came from him. Now he's leaned from his saddle bow to catch his cane again. But the roaring that was Clyde Water took Willis hat from him. Oh, he's leaned out of his saddle bow to catch his hat by force. But the roaring that was Clyde Water took Willie from his horse. His brother was on the yonder bank, cries by, I think you'll drown. Turn, turn to your high horse head, and he'll learn you how to swim. How can I turn to me high horse head, how can I learn to swim? For I got my mother's malice on, so it's here that I must drown. Oh, the very hour that Willie sank into that pool so deep, his darling dear came wide awake out from a drowsy sleep. Oh, mother dear, I dreamed a dream, I dreamed it fierce and strong. I dreamed my lover came to our door that none would let him in. Lie down, lie down, my maid Margaret, lie down and take your rest. And since your lover was at our gate, it's but two quarters past. So nimbly, nimbly she rose up and went to the river's brim. But the louder that this lady cried, the louder grew the wind. Now she stepped into Clyde water and it wetted to her feet. And it's oh, and alas, this lady cried, this water's wondrous deep. And the very next step that she went in, she waded to her knee. And sighing said, this darling girl, this water's deep for me. And the very next step that she went in, she waded to her chin. 
And the deepest part of Clyde Water she found for Willie in. Oh, you have had a cruel mother, Willie, and I have had another. But now we'll lie in Clyde Water, like sister and like brother.